And here we are at the northern edge of the Bay Circuit Trail in Concord, where it meets the Hapgood Wright Town Forest. You head this way and it brings you into Concord Center on the old Cambridge Turnpike, AKA 117, I believe. And this is the cute and diminutive entrance area. The little flat two by four bridge arced over the flood where the embattled hikers stood. So we'll be following this all the way to the other side and eventually down to Walden. The trail starts kind of along what must have been a little raised causeway going through wetland, maybe an old access road. One last fond look at the screeching road. And head we go. Walden Ho and so. This is interesting, it's kind of an old, predominantly oak forest <coughs> in which a young upstart pine population is rearing its bushy head, but probably not destined to do much beyond providing entertainment for nuthatches and whatnot. Yeah, we're on kind of a raised bed between sections of marsh, swamp, and here the trail indicates a turn. Concord is the first place I've seen that actually makes an attempt to explain what the color code system means. Now I don't know if that's universally applicable to all the other towns, but the ubiquity of the scheme suggests it probably originates with the Mass Association of Conservation Commissions as a kind of recommended practice. So yeah, at a certain point, I'll even provide a very minor syllabus on what they mean. Uh, we've got a woodpecker condominium. And this is where the trail will follow the edge of this contiguous wetland. So it's kind of a lowland trail. This has got to be some kind of 
huge trophy pine grove remnant. Look at the size of these things. They're probably cousins to the legendary Carlisle pines. They're massive and there's just a few of them. There are probably little trees when Henry and Emerson were stumbling around here. kind of warm today with a humidity overlay. But the mosquitoes are oddly subdued. Don't know why, but I'm not complaining. few more of these huge pines. Huh? There's a kingfisher. Might be the same one I noticed over at the pond. It's too s small to work with my zoom lens, but I spotted it nonetheless. Funny call they make. of these old puncheons and mini boardwalks to conduct you through this wetter part of the section. They're a bit slippery with algae now, but serviceable nonetheless. The train line that Henry knew roaring along off in the distance, heading out to Fitchburg. Once upon a time, it went through the Hoosick Tunnel. No more. Wonder what Henry made of the Hoosick Tunnel. I don't know if he was around then. And it's yet another outstanding and vivacious trail section in a town forest. I never had much of a sense before of just what an overlooked but outstanding legacy these many town forests are. And I plan to make learning about their origins and history one of my major winter projects. Much like in Rowley yesterday, 
I can hear a significant amount of warbler chirp. There must be another cloud of migrants passing through this neck of the woods. There's of course the ever plaintive blue jay. Why ain't no one listening to me? Interesting terracing. And before you know it, we'll be at Fairyland Pond.